Facebook Audience Insights is one of the best tools for getting to know your audience. You can find it over at facebook.com slash ads slash audience underscore insights. When you get over here, first thing that you're going to do is you can click on to everyone on Facebook and we can take a look at different audiences on Facebook. And there's several different methods that we can use with Facebook Audience Insights. The first one we're going to do is we're going to actually research some potential audiences. For example, if you're planning on doing some advertising on Facebook, I have a lot of clients who use Facebook for advertising. And before we advertise, we want to get to know the audience as best we can. Another strategy you can use for Audience Insights is you can actually look at the current visitors to your Facebook page and find out information about those visitors. Or you can even load in your email list or your buyers list into Facebook and you can find out information about your subscribers and your buyers. So let's get started by looking at some of the audiences on Facebook if we're planning on advertising. Now a lot of my clients when we first advertise we often think about the market that we're, that we're going into and is there a magazine because I had a lot of success using magazines in different markets. For example in the online business field I've used Success Magazine as a target market. Over in the golf market, you could use Golf Magazine or Golf Digest as a potential target. So if there's a magazine in your market, that's often where I like to start doing my research. So let's type a magazine into the interest. Let's say that we're going to go into the golf market. So we'll go Golf Magazine. Okay, Golf Magazine. And we'll get started right here, Golf Magazine. Okay, you can see that there are 300 to 50,000 to 400,000 monthly active people. That's a pretty nice size audience if we wanted to target this audience. And then you can see the age and gender. This is 11% women and 89% men. And this is compared to all of Facebook. This is 54% of Facebook is women. So this is a much larger audience of men than women overall. And as you look at these little gray boxes in the background, the gray boxes is the average on Facebook, and then the blue boxes is this specific audience. So if you look at the female audience, again, this is only 11% female, you would expect to see 16.6% of Facebook users to be in the 18 to 24 level. But there's only 6% of those who are interested in golf. So this is not a subject that younger women or younger men are all that interested in. You can see that you go over to the audiences, the audience where we see a larger amount of people, it comes into the 35 to 44 men, into the 45 to 54 men, and then about normal as you come up to the others. And then on the female side, it's 45 to 65 plus is much higher than average on Facebook. So this is an audience that trends a little bit older as you go to it. And it's even more on the female side older than it is on the male side. As you can see, it really peaks about 45 to 54 on the male side. Then as you scroll down, you can find out a little bit more about this audience. You can see they give descriptions. And these are just general descriptions, little categories that Facebook puts people into. And this little comparison over here tells you how much more likely they are to be in this category than the average on Facebook. So someone who's in reading Golf Magazine, who's interested in this subject, is 63% more likely to be in the casual comfort than average on Facebook. And overall in the audience, this is 4% of the audience. And casual comfort means childless couples in their 30s and early 40s, and you could see up here, 30s and 40s, especially in the 40s, was much higher in the category. These are homeowning households that often include professionals with graduate degrees. So this looks like a pretty good market. That's, that's an audience I'd like to advertise to. Professionals with graduate degrees, homeowning households, child, childless couples means they probably have more money to spend. Look down here. The two largest sections are 9% summit estates, and that's the wealthiest of all cl clusters. So they enjoy the good life, luxury, travel, entertainment, consumption of every kind. Very good audience to advertise to. Go down to professionals because it's 8%. And you can see ranked fourth for both income and net worth. These families shop at upscale stores, spend time managing their investments, and adhere to regular fitness programs. 7% active lifestyle. So these have teenage kids, minivans, mortgages. Rank of fifth in the country. They have means to support the family. So those who subscribe to Golf Magazine is an audience that has money. 
when you look through it. So this is a pretty good audience to advertise to. And as you scroll down, you can see that they're 31% more likely to be married than average on Facebook. They have a higher education level than fa than normal on Facebook. See, there's it's 23% less likely to only have a high school diploma. Most of them are in the college level. We scroll down here, what, what are their job titles? We see that we have a lot of veterans, business and financial operations. We have cleaning and maintenance. You see a lot in management, 28% in management. So there's a lot of people in management who are doing the golf. Now let's scroll over here. We could find out some other audiences we could target. So let's say that you went out and you learned about this audience and you understand this audience and you start advertising to them and you start having good results from this audience. Well, we can go over here to page likes and we can find additional potential audiences. So you can see other magazines that we could target include Golf Week, Global Golf Post, Golf Magic, Golf Digest. They're giving us additional audiences we could target. Again, I like magazines often in different markets because magazines give you big audiences. We know that they're buying something. We know that people usually spend a lot of money for advertising in those magazines and we can advertise through Facebook for a much lower cost and a whole lot less risk than advertising directly in those magazines. So I would consider these as potential audiences if the golf magazine worked for you when you targeted it. Then you also can see for education, they like the Golf Academy of America. For companies, these are some of the companies they're buying from. These are, again, other audiences that we could target. We can click on any of these and find out more about them. For example, if we click on Golf Digest, we're going to go over to the Golf Digest page, and you can see more about them here. You can see what kinds of things they post. So when you're running your ads, you can get an idea of what's working, what's not. I could scroll through their post, and look, they have 274 likes on this post. We scroll through, let's see what other ones grab people's attentions. We see a video that grabs people's attentions. We could find out more about that. We could watch the video, but let's go back to Audience Insights. We can click on this little see all and we can see other sections that what these people who like Golf Magazine also like. Look, they like the movie Caddyshack. Not a whole lot of surprise there. Communities like I Love Golfing. You can get a really good idea of the audience when you do something like this. We can see some of the pros that they like, obviously, some of the news media that they follow. So you can get a lot of ideas for other places to advertise. You can also get a lot of ideas about the audience you're specifically targeting. We can scroll down here and you can see the other places that they like and you can see the affinity with these other places. So golf deals and steals is extremely popular with the same audience. True Temper is popular, golf.com is popular, and you can see just how popular these affinities are. They're extremely high for these audiences. These audiences aren't quite as big, but they're giving us some very targeted audiences. So let's say that you didn't want to go after Golf Magazine to start. Maybe you wanted to go even more targeted. Well, some of these are very similar to it to get started with. You can see where the audiences are. You can see what types of activities they're likely to do online. Are they more likely to, sh to like pages and share than the average person? And yes, they are. Look, this audience is much more likely to click on ads than average. The, for this average, for this audience, it's 35 compared to 14. So more than twice as likely to click on ads than the average Facebook users. Great audience to advertise to. You can see what device they're commonly used. So we have people who use the computer. They have people who use iPhones desktop, mobile. So again, but most audiences you advertise on Facebook, you're going to be hitting mobile more than anything else. And you can see this audience is even more likely to be on mobile than average. You can see their household incomes and averages. And again, look at this. This audience is extremely nice to advertise to because you can see the percentages are much higher for all the higher income levels. Just a slightly higher at 75 to 100,000. But once you get the 100,000 plus, it's much higher all the way. Great audience to advertise to. They're more likely to own their home than to rent than average. You can see their household size. It's kind of pretty much on the normal side for the household size. They're less likely to be single. Remember, they're more likely to be married, so there's more likely to be two or higher in the household. Market value, again, is a little bit on the higher side, about normal for the market. And then you can see the spending methods, how they spend money. And then purchases, not a whole lot of differences here in the retail spending or online purchases. We look down at the purchase activities. You can see that they're more likely to buy clothing, more likely to buy health and beauty, more likely to pay for sports and outdoors. Really good since we want to advertise something to do with golf. 
You can see if they are interested in vehicles, not really important to us here. So that's just the basic starting point is you can get the basics and we can type in any audience interest over here. And after you went through and you looked at this one interest like Golf Magazine, you'll more likely go over and pick out some of these other ones like Golf Digest. We could look at it. Probably it's gonna be very similar. We can get more ideas about the audience. We could grab some of the smaller audiences and look at them as well. And then once you do that basis, let's say that we wanted the specific market. Maybe we're only going to advertise to those who are 35 to 64. And then we can, it'll narrow it down to just that audience. We can find out more about them and see, of course, it limits the, this audience here. Much more likely to be in the summit estates level to have more money. So we can see what this audience looks like when you're just targeting the specific one that you're going to go after. So you can do that. Now, the other feature that you can use Audience Insights for is you can actually look at some of your own custom audiences. So let's say that you start advertising and you do a video views ad. Well, you can build a custom audience from those who watch your video and whatever percentage of their video that you want to build. And then you can come back into Audience Insights. Let's clear this out. You come back into Audience Insights and you can choose that custom audience. So let's choose just this little video engagement. This was just a small video that I s published. Let's change the age so I'm not going to any specific age here. We're gonna look at 18 to any age. Here so we can look at anybody in this audience. And let's see what we find out about this audience. So this audience, the people who watched this video, 72% of them were men, 28% of them were women. You can look, it was 35 and up. That's because I was only advertising to those who are 35 and up, so it's much like more likely to be in those age groups. You can see much more likely they were urban diversity, so they are much more likely to be singles in their early 50s that watch this videos. They were more likely to be affluent single parents that were watching this video, and they're firmly established households, upper middle class. We can scroll through, we can see other elements here. They're more likely to be married than average. They're, many of them are in production and management. Let's go over to page likes and see what pages they like. So we can see some of the other pages that this audience is liking. Well, look, they like Lead Pages and Infusionsoft, Shopify, Hootsuite, HubSpot. These are some of the audiences they like. We can see some of the authors they like, some of the entrepreneurs they like, giving me lots of potential audiences that I could advertise to. We can see all, we can see some of the other elements, what this audience likes. They like health and wellness, they like some of the natural news type stuff, so I can get an idea of the audience. This is interesting. This doesn't relate to this specific audience, but one of my members of one of my programs was looking at their buyers list. So we actually, they loaded in their buyers list. And they found, when they look at their buyers list, that 98% of their buyers were female. And up till then, they thought, Maybe 80% would be female, maybe 20% would be male because that's about how their advertising was working. But 98% of their buyers were female. And you can pretty much guess what they would do the next day, which is they turned off all their advertising to males because they were wasting money because they weren't buying. It was all females. Then they looked through all the categories, all the page likes when, when they were looking at this page. And they noticed that we got a pretty good idea of the women who are buying from them. They were Women, many of them were 45 to 64. They enjoyed country music. They liked conservative websites. They liked conservative politicians. And there were like nonprofit organizations. Many of them were Christian ministries. And you got a pretty good idea of the audience you're marketing to, who they're writing to, and that would also give them a good idea of what they should be putting in their ads, what they should be putting in their emails, things that they should avoid since most of their audience were in the conservative that means that they wouldn't be talking about liberal policies in their emails once you know who your audience is it makes it much easier to bring up subjects that they can relate to so they could mention a country music singer they could mention a conservative politician they could mention other things that this audience would understand that you could, could use terminology that they would understand because you look through this list and you get an idea of where the audience comes from and what they're doing. If we scroll down to the page likes in this audience, you see they have a lot of affinity for lead pages, for Infusionsoft. So 
for the next video that I advertise, I'm gonna be targeting things like Lead Pages and Infusionsoft, Vince Reed, and you can just go down this list and these will be some of my targets the next time I advertise one of my videos because this is the audience that's watching it right now. Now, I didn't get into all the features here of Audience Insights because there's so much here. We can find out information about those who are visiting your Facebook pages. We can go down to advanced, and that means we can bring in other classifications. We could look for people who have specific jobs or specific education levels, specific behaviors. So you can do a lot of research here in Audience Insights. There's so much here. You can find out a lot about your audience. You can find out a lot about any custom audiences that you load into Facebook here in Audience Insights, and you can find other people to advertise to. There's a lot of things you can do here on Audience Insights. You can research a potential audience that you're gonna to advertise to. You can find other audiences using a starting point that you can advertise to. You can load in your own custom audiences. For example, you could load in your email list as a retargeting list on Facebook and then bring them up in Audience Insights. You could load in your buyers list, do the same thing with them. If you do a video views ad, you can come over here and look at the people who are viewing your ad. You can find out more about them, find other places to advertise that video. You can get a better understanding of your subscribers, your customers, any audience that you're advertising to. So Facebook Audience Insights is one of my favorite tools for getting to know my audience better and to better understand my overall market that I'm in. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. In addition, subscribe to my channel and you'll get more videos on how to earn more, work less, and enjoy life using the internet.